So I was scrolling on YouTube and I happened to come across to get another size comparison video. This time, we are going to be looking at Godzilla Kaiju skeletons. Also, of course, other animals and monsters as well. And let's just get right into it, brother. We got Data Brain here with the skeleton size comparison. Animal, dinosaur, sea monster, and Godzilla Kaiju. What do you think is going to be the biggest, though? If you had to take a guess right now. Like this right here, the anorgan... What is that to start off with? We couldn't have got like an ant. Does an ant have a skeleton? Hey, you know what? Whatever. We got a rabbit here. 1.1 feet. What's the average human skeleton? Isn't it like 5 foot 8? I think it's something like that. By the way, if you haven't yet, do me a favor. Scroll down for me. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. Making our way to 800,000 of you beautiful people out there. What is that even? Archeopent... You know what, bro? I can't. Eagle. See how easy that is? And then you got this. Houseraptor is Galilean. I don't know where I pulled the end out of just then, but whatever. Baboon. A dodo. <laughs> like, who named these? That's what we need in our lives. I feel like I say this on, like, every size comparison. Dog! Who named that? That I, I need that guy in my life. To be naming all these other skeletons. Or whatever. Penguin. Goat. Pretty good detail, by the way. Usually we just see, like, teeth. Or the skull. Now we get the full size of these monsters. Well, it's a turtle. It's not a monster, but you'll see later. If I had to pick, bro, because I don't think there's, like, a bunch of Godzilla Kaiju. I think there's, like, I know there's a couple, but if I had to pick, I'm just going to stick with Godzilla as the biggest. Because technically, they could throw in Godzilla Earth, possibly, and that skeleton could be huge. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how many Kaijus are actually even in this. Or if they put a sea monster in and put bloop. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, an average human skeleton. Five and a half foot. Okay. So I'm about five inches above the average human. That's right. 5'10". That's me. That's me. Not too great. Wish I was about 6'2". Sabretooth cat. That's a thing. All right. Is it the same as a saber tooth tiger? We got a gorilla, a bear, an alligator below. Never mind. I called that an alligator. What is that? Armadillo such as. Sure. Kangaroo. Kangaroo average is six and a half feet. That boy Kangaroo Jack was tall. Got a bison, 6.8. We're starting to get up there a little bit. Got a lion. I was gonna like pronounce that. I was gonna attempt, but I, I just, I decided against it. I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. Gomph, Gomphotherum. I gotta go back to school, bro. Hey, stick in school, ladies and gentlemen. Learn your pronunciations. But at the same time, like, who, who really is gonna need to use a, a word like... Here, let's see this next one. Who's really gonna need to use a word? Well, that's easy. Stellar Sea Lion. You know what I'm saying, though. Who's gonna need to use that dinosaur's name that often? Alligator Gar, okay. I've actually seen one of those in real life. Terrifying. Stout-legged Moa. I don't know what that is. Platybelodon. Is that his tongue? Why is it on the skeleton? It kind of looked like a tongue to me. Giant deer, ten and a half feet. Oh my. Like this. Who's going to need to use this word? Denicherius. I don't think I've ever pronounced or, or said that word once in my life. Stenopatitigus. You see what I'm saying? No reason. Hippopotamus. I almost like mispronounced. Mispro 
mispronounced the words. They just do something to me, bro. They jumble my brain. Dimitroden. Let me get a drink of water. I mean, goodness. What is that? Something Raptor. Nope. I like how they put extinct next to the mammoth as if we haven't seen a bunch of dinosaurs already like this. That's extinct, right? Thankfully, they, they did throw that extinct in with the mammoth. You know, we wouldn't have known. Thank you, Data Brain. Much love, brother. Thank you for that. I guess these aren't extinct then. Like this guy right here. The Majungasaurus. Not extinct. All right. That's terrifying. 17.5 feet. Nah, it better be extinct. We got a giraffe here. Long neck gentleman. Almost 20 feet. Wait, crocodile? Almost 20 feet? Why do I feel like that's not... What kind of crocodile was 20 feet? I gotta ask Siri now. Hold up. What's the average crocodile length? Wait, four to five meters. Wait, three... Th 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 that led up 13 feet to 15 feet. Okay, that's still not 20 feet, but that's still ginormous. Great white shark, 21 feet. That looks terrifying. Bro, the sharks look terrifying with or without skin. Stegosaurus. Is that a T? Nope. Whatever that says. The Presto. A sea cow. I'm sorry, who? Who is Stellar, by the way? Oh, that's a, that's a Carno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the Carno, 24.6 feet. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. What's his name? I think name him that. Tusker, you could have just left out the first part of that. I'm so confused. Okay. Hey, shout out to Tusker, man. I don't know who named him, but they need to be locked up for at least a few years. <laughs> I mean, that is disrespectful. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I've never seen that before. That is hilarious. All right. The Therese note, almost 30 feet. I'm not going to be able to get over that, bro. That's hilarious. Triceratops, 30 feet almost. Almost 30. Bro, who is naming these things? Titan Neponius. I swear, man, some of these people that name these monsters, dinosaurs, whatever, they need to spend some time in jail. I, I feel like that would really benefit them. <laughs> they need to spend time locked away for a little bit. They're, cause they gotta be out of their mind. There's no way. Mosa? I T Rex, there he is. 42 feet. 39. Okay. I was close. What is this? I don't even know. I've never even heard of that. Sabinosaurus? Sabino? Sabino? Something. 52 feet? seen any Godzilla Kaiju yet, so I'm assuming they're obviously, I, I would imagine they're going to be the biggest anyways. We have seen some dinosaurs and some monsters, though. So we covered them. We, we found the animals. We've covered all bases other than Godzilla. And now that we're at the sperm well, 59 feet, it's got to be about ready to get to uh, Godzilla, right? I see Godzilla's shadow in the background on the end. Somebody's shadow. I see somebody's leg to the right. Diplodocus. 85 feet. It's big boy. It's big boy, what do you say? What is this? Yep, it's that. 85 feet. Is this a sea monster right here? Or is this a blue whale? Blue whale. Okay. Almost 100 feet. Now, 
It's got two legs standing up like a person. I'm gonna go Kong on this one. Oh, never mind. It's not standing up. Well, maybe that makes more sense, being a gorilla. And then we obviously see Godzilla next to him. Hold up. That's so crazy comparing them to, like, the rest of the, the monsters and animals and dinosaurs. Kong, 337 feet. Just the skeleton. And we got Godzilla. Bro, that looks so sick. The Godzilla skeleton. I wish they, were, they, they would do more of the Godzilla kaiju rather than just a couple because I don't see any more. And I guess Godzilla's the biggest. But like I said, I wish they would do more of them so we could see the, you know, the skeleton sizes of all the kaiju. But yeah, if you picked Godzilla, ladies and gentlemen, you definitely won. Let me know whose skeleton you would like to see from the Godzilla kaiju universe. Other than that, though, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching with me. I love ya. Goodbye.